burns are tissue damage that results from heat, overexposure to the sun or other radiation, or chemical or electrical contact. Burns can be minor medical problems or life-threatening emergencies. The treatment of burns depends on the location and severity of the damage, and the degrees of burns are classified according to that. Let us see how you will be able to classify them. Whenever a patient visits your clinic with a complaint of burn, they may describe the burn as pain, blistering, and charred skin caused by injury from electricity, fire, or chemicals. There are two important questions that you need to address before moving towards a diagnosis. Question number one. Ask if they have any pain, blistering, trouble breathing, and loss of consciousness. Question number two. Ask them about the source. You should ask if the burn was electrical. You could also ask them where the source touched them and where exactly on the body they were burned. If it was a flame, you should know if their face was burned. If the burn was chemical, you should know what kind of chemical it was whether there was contact with face or eyes, and whether they swallowed any of it. You also need to ask them when they had their last tetanus shot and how many tetanus shots they have received in their life. The reason for asking this is that tetanus toxin might enter the body through a wound or burn. Once in the body, the bacteria release poisons that attack the body's nervous system. So to prevent lockjaw, history of tetanus shots is established. Now that you know much about the type of injury to your patient, your doctor will do a physical examination, including the following. Blood pressure, pulse, breathing rate, and a thorough skin exam. Now, after a careful examination, how will you classify the type of burn well, if the burn affects only the outermost layer of skin and patient has symptoms like pain, has red and dry skin, and he is able to feel pinprick on burned skin, then it could be classified as first degree burn. If the burn affects outermost and additional layer of skin and is painful with blisters, has underlying moist and red tissue and able to feel pinprick on burned skin. Then it could be a second degree burn. If the burn affects deep tissues beyond outermost layers and patient feels no pain, has charred or leathery skin and skin might be white under surface and there is no feeling of pinprick on burned skin then it could be a third degree burn. Severe burns can cause large amounts of fluid loss as well as infections. Burns to the face are particularly troublesome because associated damage to the lungs, which can occur if hot air is breathed in, can lead to breathing difficulties. Electrical burns may look less severe than they are because some of the damage is to internal organs. Now, based on the diagnosis, you can manage your patient accordingly. That was all about the differential diagnosis of burns. Stay tuned to scadia.com for more such precise and knowledge-stuffed videos.